hello and welcome back to another reaction video this is your boy bob yes yes it was a matter of time before he actually made a video about him i'm i might as well just speak my situation on you know speak my piece on the situation too but then again hey chisel the donners might end up speaking that speaking all that for me so i was gonna make a podcast video this morning didn't make it this morning and i was gonna do it after i got off work but once i saw this video i was like yeah i don't really have to say much about it anymore i'm pretty sure he's gonna spell it out for me so we already know who he's talking about we already know what he's talking about let's jump right into it i can't believe this dude doing this okay no wrong one all right, so boom. as we all know, there is a current title that is occupied by the babyface light skin assassin, 6'3", sniper Stephen Curry, who occupies the title as the greatest shooter of all time. But did you know there's another individual who is just now vying for yeah. his crown, despite the fact that it has nothing to do with have his nothing shooting to do with it. on the court? What is his name? Ja Wick, Ja Morant of the Memphis Grizzlies, because not I once, swear, yeah. but twice was this... This man caught brandishing a firearm on Instagram. This time, it wasn't even his account. Hey, bitch, I won't buy. I know this pussy nigga. Let me see that again. I, I, I yep. Look at that. You got me now. Or you figured me out. You right there. You got me red-handed. You got me red-handed. Uh-oh. Retard alert. Retard yep. alert, class. Yep. Now I know what you're probably going to yep. ask. What's wrong Retard. with brandishing a firearm? What's wrong with exercise? Retard. Re, re. I'm telling you. Like, this don't make any sense. It doesn't. Like he said, not once, but twice. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, some people saying he fumbling the bag. Like I told somebody else just the other day, he's not fumbling. He's burning it. He's burning that bag. Like, he's not really trying to see it. He probably might get, I mean, definitely the, the dollar bills that's on the outside of the bag is basically going to get burned. But... He may be able to salvage, you know, whatever's left in the inside of the burn pile. That's if he can just sit up there and turn it around. I know he done sat up there and issued a statement not too long ago, probably like a, two, three hours ago. I just seen this. I seen he, he released another statement. But, yeah, it's we don't know what's going to happen with this now. Your Second Amendment right. What's wrong with owning some weapons? I'm glad that you asked, Mr. and Mrs. Nincompoop, because oh, John Morant was already in hot water for being on Instagram Live doing what? Oh, Lord. Yep. look yep. at the detail. Look at the detail. <laughs> oh, Lord. Boy. Switch and choose the Come phone on, you want. You two, like the incredible you, you messing with me right now. Us. Verizon. Yeah, sorry about all that. Fuck all right. Retard. Because let's just act as if we have a memory of a platform that is oh public my God, yeah. that we can always go back and take a look at how somebody would type out their behavior. Oh, yes. What do they call that? Uh, Twitter. No, nah, no. Nah, fuck this. There you fuck go. You motherfuckers are crazy. I'm going to my car. Get my other gun. Shoot everybody's ass. Shoot it. Wow. <laughs> look at Oh, As Ned Flanders oh my saying, God, the yeah. Crayolas and color me tickled pink. What could John Morant be referencing here with this tweet? Really? Now, granted, we're at the height of emotional social media usage, where cancel culture is all the rave, and individuals yes, it is. to lose their ability to discern anything behind characters typed with several digits and thumbs. But yep. is it wrong? to assume that there is a problem here with John ja Morant because let's just keep it a buck at this particular point. John ja Morant was an all-star. He yes. was, or I should say, is an all-star. He True. is the Valid. face of the Memphis Grizzlies and potentially could be the face of the NBA. Of the NBA. Let's just keep it real here. 
LeBron James is in the twilight of his career. He has much less years in front of him than he has behind him. Steph yes. Curry, exact same thing. Kevin Durant, same thing. All of the individuals who can be the face, or I should say were the face of the league, they will be on their way out in let's say seven years would be a good average. Then yeah, that's a good Giannis, average. Your Jokic's, your Luka, and who else is amongst that group? Ja Morant. There's some names that wasn't mentioned, but let's not play the game of, oh, what about this person? Whatever yeah, the case may yeah. be. True. This is also a man with a multi-million dollar Nike deal, which will most yes. likely end up getting dropped over the course of the next few weeks. But one way or another, you have to consider what your that's messed image up, yo. For real, for real. That's messed up. When you're in the league, because... What did John Morant do earlier on this year? I can't help it, man. Yep. Don't give me no gun, man. You know, you know what I'm going to do. Ah, yes. Yep. Infamous Instagram Live where John Morant's showing off guns. You see, the problem isn't that John Morant finds himself in clubs taking bottles to the head. The problem's not John Morant, you know, hitting the gritty, dancing left and right, despite the fact that he hasn't earned the right to do so in the NBA because let's keep it a buck. Everybody only considers you a made man if you happen to win a championship or compete for championships. Yep. But you find yourself as second round exits back to back years. You got or you're on the team with the most mouth, but absolutely nothing to prove it. But yeah, the issue that exists here is not any of that and the end no, it's not. of the Memphis Grizzlies or John Moran. It's the fact that this man is trying to brandish an image that he himself not only one does not live, but two does not have to live. I think that's where the biggest problem is because it as is. we all heard the parody songs before. But I know something about you. You went to Cranbrook at the private school. What's the matter? Oh my God! Did he just went and go there? Yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly a splitting splitting image of what's going on right now. To my knowledge, and no, it it's not to be to the public knowledge, there's never been a moment in John Morant's life in which he was known to be the gangster. Hence why everybody is calling into question the mannerisms in which he is carrying moving forward. Moreover, one's got to ask the question, why? Because Guess that's the why? Same question that I have. Why? That's the biggest question we got. Why? I'm asking it. Chisel Adonis is asking that. Uh, Shannon Sharp is asking that. It's like a few other people that's asking, why are you sitting up here doing this? Like, why? You don't have to do it. Literally, you don't have to do that. You don't even have to be that. You don't even have to sit up there and do a little small flex to even get your whatever your point is across. Like, we just don't know why. That's the that's the gray area. We don't know why. That's the main question. And, bro, like, this is like getting, it's like getting retarded with him. Like, seriously. It's like, and then it's like he come, like he just made a statement. He just made a statement not too long ago of the same exact BS he did months ago. And then he, and then I, I breezed over the statement. It's basically the same thing he said a couple of months ago, but just basically condensed. Like, this man's getting out of hand with him, yo, for real. Do you feel the need to try to showcase to the world that you just this hard thug individual where anybody can get it? You don't need to have this image, sir. Because no, you, you don't. Worked your entire life to get to the point that your contemporaries, which that they can get to. You finally made it. Consider the position that John Morant is at. You were a, I believe, number two pick in the league. You were all yeah. rookie or, 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 um, or, um, when you entered the NBA. You are a multi-time all-star. You would have been all NBA this yeah. year and qualified for a max contract. But why But did you, you screwed that the, up. Uh, oh, I should say that all NBA nod. Ah, that's right. You were suspended for eight games. But why was John Moran suspended for eight games? That's right. Whole squad for the fucking killers. I'm a killer too. John Moran, look at No. And I pull out my gun. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Showcasing weapons 
on IG Live, his own IG Live. Now, here's where one would ask the question, right? Just to tr backtrack to what I stated earlier. There's nothing wrong with owning a firearm. There's nothing no, wrong it's with not. exercising your Second Amendment, right? However, you have to consider the image in which and, and what you represent. You represent the NBA. You represent your franchise. You represent several different brands. And above all else, you represent the brand of Ja Morant. And here you are, not just, okay, I'm going to a gun range and I'm shooting, which is not an issue whatsoever. Or you're reviewing your gun collection and showcasing to the world, hey, those look yeah, at the firearms them too. That I have. Look how cool this is. This has this feature. This has this feature. Oh no. No, nah, no, nah, fuck this. Both you motherfuckers are crazy. I'm going to my car. Get my other gun. Shoot everybody's ass. If he was at a gun range shooting, this would have no problem. But you over no. here brandishing the gun, making threats on Twitter, all this other stuff. What do you think the people will view you as? To make matters worse, you get suspended. You do a sit-down interview. You stated out of your own they said, mouth. It's not who I am. I don't condone see, and, see? You know, any type of violence. Um, but I take, you know, full responsibility, you know, for my actions. Um, made a you know, bad mistake. Um, and I can see uh, the image you know that I, I painted you know over myself you know with my recent mistakes but you know in the future um i'm gonna show everybody who ja really is you know what i'm about and um you know change this narrative now with him stating See? this out of his own mouth means what he acknowledged that there was a problem yes he acknowledged that this was a bad image and above mm -hmm. all else he stated that he would stop and get some help and here we are Again. Two, three months later. Told you two, three page, months later. On his friends page, his friends Instagram live. Just a couple of young guys hanging out. It's not. Honestly, look, everybody be trying to be real technical. I know he's not. He's not trying to be technical. Cause I know he's basically gonna co-sign. I'm basically gonna co-sign what he's saying. Like basically, that whole thing about oh his friends IG. Bruh, you're on prey. Even if you, it was your friend's IG, you on probation for even having a gun in your position. Like, seriously. If you know you sitting out here, you got this image you got to uphold. Why don't you just uphold the image and everything? And why the hell a damn gun is doing on you in the first place if y'all just hanging out? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it, none of this stuff makes any sense. It really doesn't. Like, you can easily be, you can easily stay out of, stay out, stay out of the bad, you know, the bad rep with the whole gun weapons and stuff like that. You can easily stay out of it. He chooses not to. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, we bumping, we listening to some music. Woo, not a problem. Having a great time on Instagram Live in front of 111 people. What does John Morant decide to do? And I pull out my gun. I'm on my way. Let's roll, friends. Yep. Good God. Google Pixel with Magic Eraser. Buy Google Pixel 7a and get Pixel Buds A series. At Blue Bunny, we test to make sure our mini treats are crunchy and on, eh? mini <laughs> approved. There we go. What was the reason? Because here's the thing. Have you ever listened to music before? I'm sure that you have. Have you mm. ever listened to music with your friends before? I'm sure that you have. Have yeah. you ever listened to music with your friends and had a very good time? I'm sure that you have. Have you ever listened to music with your friend, had a very good time, and decided now's a good time to showcase that I got guns? For what reason? What reason? To make matters yep. even worse. Told you. His friend at least has enough sense. The moment that he noticed there was a gun on the camera, mind you, it was a second flash. For uh -huh. one second, you can see the fire on. The friend turned the camera away because he knew. He knew the ramifications of John ja Morant flashing goddamn fire on. But John ja Morant doesn't know that. Because here's the thing. It's one thing if John ja didn't know he was on Instagram Live. He was looking into the camera. He had both his hands yep. up prior in the video. So he willfully oh, put yeah. his left hand down, picked up the firearm, or searched for it. Bruh, I can't. 
this is my first time seeing the whole this is my first time seeing the whole IG live the video clip that been surfacing around when I first noticed that he had flashed the gun or whatever it was like a still image but it wasn't like the actual video or anything like that but when I seen that I was like you know what I'm so through with him like I just don't know what to do because it's like he's he's doing stupid stupid mistakes it, I ain't gonna say a mistake he's doing stupid stuff man come on man you got a hundred and ninety something thousand dollars million dollars contract over the course of five years and you sitting up here blowing it like this bruh I would I would love to have a piece of that I would love to have a year's worth really trust me I wouldn't be going through none of the stuff I'm going through at my job. You know, I'm trying to do. Yeah. Hey, eventually, you know, with your help, if you subscribe and like, you know, and everything like that. Appreciate it. It'll help me out from getting out of this job. But yeah. I'm eventually I will get there with your help and a few others. I appreciate you for being here, though, for watching the video. But nonetheless. I wouldn't be putting up with anybody would like to be in his shoes. It's just the whole fact that, you know, he just has that itch. And like right here, like you can't see it or whatever like that. But right there, you see homie looking at him. But I don't think he he's aware that he's about to pull out that gun. He flashed that camera, you know, flashed the camera over there and stuff. But job, but job he knew the he knew. He was on camera. He knew he was live and all of that. He still, I got to pull it out, man. I got to pull. Come on, bro. Like, this, this is ridiculous, yo. Wherever it may have been See? in the car at the time of them bumping music on IG Live, proceeded to make the decision to lift up said firearm so it can be showcased in the IG Live. You mean to tell me you can't listen to music with your friend bumping, having a good time in the car without having to lift up a firearm when you know you're exactly. on Exactly. What's man's the a dummy. point? This man's a dummy. This not to say, oh, well, you're violating somebody's Second Amendment right. Oh, he's no different than any particular kind of citizen. Let's keep it a buck. If you work a regular job, they happen to find your Twitter account, your Instagram account, your Facebook account. You bad mouthing the company. You doing all this other stuff that that can mess around and be looking and, and, and messes around and looks bad on the company yep. or your employer, whatever the case may be. They can fire you for that. You know that, right? Yeah. So despite the fact that John Morant's a public figure, he works in the NBA. He has all of this visibility or whatever the case may be. You think what he does on social media does not have ramifications? Oh, it you does. Think he just gets a pass because man's is famous. Even more. Be kidding me. This dude is willfully. It's not somebody else preying on his downfall. Somebody else. He's doing, doing it. Leading to making it seem as if he's some sort of bad dude. He's willfully doing it. It's on exactly. him, and he doesn't have to do it. How is it that your posse has more sense than you? When the first incident happened, first thing that I said was, John Morant circle needs to educate this man that fam you are the bag as the youth would say you yep. are our ticket as the youth would say there's no reason for you to be doing all okay here's my thing he is correct but let's spin this a little bit they supposed to tell him that that's their ticket or whatever Even if they were to sit up there and be in Josh's shoes, they would do the same as that BS. It doesn't make any sense. They'll still blow it. They'll still do it and everything. It, it just doesn't matter. If, the, if his circle makes like they just be like, oh, they carefree and they don't have no responsibility over anything. Nothing can't happen. Nothing can't touch us. If they have that all on their mind, it's not even going to matter. They're not going to tell him anything. They're going to let him do whatever he's going to do. That that mess don't make any sense, you know. It's, it's, it just can't. Be, it, you can't be. Can't be this crazy, yo. Can't be.
this other stuff. It, does that mean you can't hang out with them? You can still hang out with them, but you got to recognize, oh, if they're doing some tomfoolery, I got to separate. Because Thank remember you. what happened with Carmelo Anthony when David Stern had to sit down with him? You want to be in the streets or you want to be in the NBA? You fucking with a corporation now. You're going to leave. You're going to leave that alone. I know who you with. I know where you live at. I know where they live at. I know when you close your eyes. I know when you work when you wake up. Damn. Either tell them to stop or you got to cut them off. Exactly. I'm like, damn, like how the fuck? There'll come a point in which you need to identify what are your real priorities here? What exactly. matters most to you? Looking hard on social media or being able to set up the generational on top of generational wealth for yourself and your family? You really want to help out your community? You really want to be there for your mans and them? You secure that doggone bag, teach them different particular kinds of, uh, you know, activities and skills and things that they can do to add to your brand and everybody grows together. You know exactly. who's a example of that? LeBron James. You know Thank who you. happens to play in the same league as you? LeBron James. You know who you probably should talk to? LeBron James. Somebody to set your dumb ass straight because you're going to mess around and be the starting point guard for the Shanghai Sharks with the way that you move it. You know how much. Um, to be fair, I think he already like had schooled him on the court, and I'm thinking he's kind of a little salty over there. But hey, who am I to judge? He needs to go back. He needs all the help he can get. And if you want to sit up there and want to run around and burn his money like that and everything, honestly, the NBA could be like, yeah, we can take our hundred ninety three million back. You know, and then when they take it back, they're going to spend it out to some, you know, some other team that can use it or whatever. That's all that what they're going to do. Good. And, and that's that's just the deal. That's just the deal from the NBA. I don't even know how much it is for the damn Nike deal. We're not even we're not even talking that. And just like he said, they might end up pulling that. Shit crazy. Such talented players in the NBA can't seem to find a job because of their absolute tomfoolery off the doggone court. And here you are, supposed to be a max player, an all NBA player, who did not get that nod because of your own tomfoolery. And here you are getting suspended again mm -hmm. because your dumb ass can't stop flashing guns on social media. Because you can't tell me 15 players in the NBA right now who's better than John Moran. You can't look at that all NBA list. First team, second team, third team, maybe not so much first team. But whatever the case may be, you can't look at that list and say, yeah, I wouldn't have John Moran on any of these squads. You kidding me? But you moving like this. And last but not least, I'll close with this. John Moran's father, T. Moran, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because me ain't doing shit. Last I checked, you are somebody's parent, not their sibling. And when I say somebody, I'm referencing to John Morant. Mans could easily have siblings, so that was disclaimer what it is that I said. But you are this man's father. It's time to yep. be a father and not a celebrity or a member of his posse. It's time to step in and get your son back on track. Oh, but his son's a grown man. His son's got a kid. At this point, T. Morant's a grandfather. It don't he matter, man. Regulating John. It don't I matter. Because um, let's take a look at somebody like Shaq. Shaq was on sidelines in NBA games. His stepfather would call the damn phone on the sideline and get his stepson in order. Shaq would have the fear of God in him up until his stepfather passed away. Fatherhood, no matter what age you just so happen to be in there, exactly. if you revere, respect, and admire your pops, he's going to be able to have that authority to set you doggone straight. There is no reason why we shouldn't be getting no doggone statements from T. Moran. I recognize that John Moran's a grown adult. He's going to do whatever the fuck he want to do. But your father now has publicity because of you sitting front row next to Usher, wow. discount Usher himself, all this other stuff. T. Moran needs to step in and get Ja regulated because this is ridiculous. Ja is throwing his doggone career away. It, it seems like it's small. Well, it's just flashed fire off. You don't recognize this has a domino effect. You get dropped by brands. You mess around and get suspended for an extended period of time by the NBA. You're completely yep. away from the game and away from all the things that keep you on point, and you fall deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. Deeper in the hole. And then what happens? 
you don't find yourself with a job despite how talented you may be. John Moran is one of those personalities that can walk away from the NBA and have work for the rest of his doggone life. But with exactly. the way that he's moving right now, I promise you, things are going to turn out much worse than it would have if this man just stopped acting like a goddamn goofball. It's getting ridiculous right now. It's getting really ridiculous it right is. now. It is. Because this is entirely on him. His man on is trying him. to turn the camera to try to protect this man. But for whatever reason, he's addicted to social media. And this is a big problem that we have with social media. Because people feel the need to overshare. Sauce Gardner put out a tweet and then he messed around and deleted it. Stating that everybody got guns. There's no reason to showcase it on social media. Correct. There is no reason. I can't seem to wrap my mind around it. What's the purpose? You mean to tell me if Instagram never existed, Facebook never existed, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, whatever the case of, of may be regarding social media, if it never existed, you think motherfuckers are sitting inside the cars by they lonesome, listening to music? Well, not by they lonesome, but amongst their friends, listening to music, having a good time, but flashing guns in the cars? They only do this for the camera. That sounds stupid as hell. What is the purpose? What do you stand to gain from operating this particular way? It's really ridiculous. To John Morant, from me to you, put your motherfucking head back down. Stop being a fucking nincompoop and put the goddamn phones down. I don't want to see this man on social media at all for like at least a year and a half, bro. I don't want to see no public photos of this man unless it's like paparazzi who mess around and take a pic. I don't want to see this man upload or nothing yeah. of that nature. Whatever sort of agreement that he has with his agents or everything, they better put in the doggone clause that he is. Man, they need to do something for, least, for real. You know, 18 to 24 months. Because this is going to be this man's downfall. He can't stop reading. Probably already. Or tweeting or DM. Well, maybe not so much DM. And actually, I think maybe there was a DM. I can't recall. I'll have to. Man, he needed DM somebody else or whatever like that and, and settle his ass down because this mess is getting out of hand for real for real excuse me I had a drink of, drink of water but yeah that this mess is getting out of hand like he should be he, he need to chill out man to google it while after in the post production of the video he can't he can't stop he can't stop something wrong with him bro Something is wrong with him. Man's over here got to pull out that Thule for everything. Really? I promise you, man's going to be at a baby shower. Look what I got you for the baby. I bought you a gun. It's getting ridiculous. You're getting stupid. Get it together, bro. For what? You pulling out guns? For what, son? For what? It's ridiculous. I'm going to always be Ja. I won't change, you know, for anybody. Quick fashion question. Oh, Lord. Here Stop we go. There. District 9 with the high tops. Mm -hmm. mm. Or should I wear this Uzi with my low tops? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You only have to say nothing. I already know. I, I know. I can't help it, man. Don't give me no gun, man. You know, you know what I'm going to do. And I pull out my gun? I'm on my way. Let's roll. Come on, please. man. The NBA Finals is vastly approaching, and I'm feeling generous right now. So I've just okay. So yeah, he he's giving away an Xbox and a PS5. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of that. But bro, like he need to get his act together, yo, because he's saying that he might be, he might fall down a little rabbit hole, or whatever. I think it's already he already fell in it. Cause between now and next week, he probably gonna have some. He gonna have at least one thing pulled from him. I don't know for sure if it's gonna be that contract, or I don't know if it's gonna be NBA contract, or I don't know if it's gonna be the Nike contract. It's gonna be something. I I'll be lucky if he even he even like stay with that one day and that's it. Cause he's on a day suspension from you know from the Grizzlies, but. Not telling how long that's gonna last. It's probably more actually probably more. So yeah, I hate to see that mess go down like that. And and it's like just like he said, it's all on him. It's not nothing somebody made you do it or nothing like that. No, it's all on him. Stupid, yo. Yeah, I had to I figured I had to get this out.
you know, I was going to make a podcast this morning about it or later on after I got off work. But I saw he summed all this, you know, summed all this up in the video. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'd rather just cover his video. And he's basically going to reiterate the same thing. Me and everybody else is thinking about, like, why, you know, and that's mainly is why. Still didn't answer that. And then we're trying to figure out, you know, like ways of him to try and like counteract all that stuff, man. That man's stupid, yo. It's pissing, it's like pissing a lot of people off. I didn't even know it, but I think he was, I think in one of the lives and everything, he was doing that gang signs. I'm like, bro, like seriously? And they kind of tick, tick some people off in LA a little bit, you know, because they sitting out here thinking, oh, he won't, you know, he won't in on them and stuff like that. And he don't even know what's going on. Like, he's like a deer in headlights, yo. He just don't know. He's he about to meet his demise. And we ain't talking about no car. We ain't talking about no car, you know, making him tumble and roll all over the car and everything. No, we were talking about an 18-wheeler. It's going to hit him so hard. Like, it's going to make him spin. And make and make him lose everything he got, like seriously. But I'm gonna hold, not gonna hold y'all any longer. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell. Make sure it's lit. If you already are a subscriber, thank you very much. You reached this far, thank you even better, even much, because it shows that you're liking the content have any questions or anything just hit up the comment section and i will see y'all at the next video peace